Oxygen 
transport and blood for the and the production of extremely active hormone like substance for cause of blood disease. So this is very essential for good health. So fat is essential for good health. So they give us energy production.
individual to remove fat completely from the diet. It should also be under the to do so. Some fatty acids are essential nutrients, meaning that they cannot be produced in the body from other compounds and need to be consumed in small amounts. All other fats required by the body are non-essential and can be produced in the body from other compounds. So, it is impossible to remove all the fats. It is not produced in our body. Next is vitamins. So now we know fats. Now I am going to explain about vitamins. So we are in the second group which is a vitamins. V I T A M I N S. Vitamins. So now we are going to learn about vitamins. The minimum amount of vitamins and minerals are required by the body each day to remain healthy and function systematically. A well balanced diet is sufficient to meet all the vitamins requirements of the body. But if these requirements are not met, the body may become deficient in some of these vitamins. If proper vitamins do not reach the body, it leads to diseases. So, Vitamins and minerals are required for the body each day to remain healthy and function properly. So, a well balanced diet is sufficient to meet all the vitamins. But if these <coughs> vitamins are not in our body, some deficiency will come and proper vitamins is not there. Does not reach our body, it leads to diseases. <coughs> so, if proper vitamins does not reach our body, we will get diseases. So, different vitamins and different roles play in bringing about the total well being of the body. So, there are so many types of vitamins that we want to take in our food. So that is vitamin A and vitamin vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K and vitamin So vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin C. So vitamin A, how it helps us and we want to take what are the diseases we cause. Vitamin A, this helps in regeneration of vision, prevents night blindness and helps to maintain good eyesight. It aids in the overall growth of the body. So if we take this vitamin A, our eyesight, eyes, it will prevent, we can see nicely and it prevents night blindness. So some people cannot see in the night. They can't see properly in the night because of vitamin A is less in their body. So, vitamin, if vitamin A is not there in their body, so they will suffer from night blindness. And it helps for good eyesight. Eyesight. So, it helps in good eyesight. And it prevents, it requires overall growth of the body. Next is vitamin E. It prevents sterility and muscular diastrophy. So, what it prevents? It prevents sterility and muscles. Muscular diastrophy.
mineral. So it helps. So this helps. Help. This is vitamin D. It is helpful for bones and it is prevent rickets and it helps for bone calcium.
functions and these help in body and these help in building strong bones to transmit nerve impulses. Some minerals are even used to make hormones or maintain a normal heart rate. So, our body uses these minerals to perform different functions and to help in building strong bones. So, it helps us to build strong bones. So, which one helps us to build strong bones? Means minerals help us to build strong bones and to transmit no impulses. So, it helps. Minerals helps us to build strong bones and it transmits the impulses. So, some minerals are even used for hormones. It's for all in four in years. Hormones or heartbeat. To maintain normal heartbeat. So, minerals help us our body grow to develop and to stay healthy. And it also perform in many different functions and they help to build strong bones and to transmit nerve impulses and some minerals are used to make hormones and to build a normal and to get a normal heart rate. Okay, sugar. Next. Next is calcium. Now we can study about calcium. Calcium is a top macro mineral when it comes to your bones. So for bones it is helpful. So calcium is a top most micro mineral that comes to our bones. This mineral has built strong bones. So this calcium helps us to build strong bones. So you can do everything from standing up straight to scoring that many goal. It also helps to build strong LDT for chomping on tasty food. So this calcium helps in so many ways. So it helps in building strong bones and you can when the bones are strong, you can stand straight. If the words are very strong, we can stand straight and we can win the goal. We can run fast and we can win the goal. And it also can us to build strong. <coughs> We 